All right, what's up guys? It's Matt with Top Tier back again with another video. Um, I know it's uh, been a little while since my last one. I went on kind of a hiatus there, um, again I know. Um, but ever since then my videos have actually kind of been taken off and thanks to you guys I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of likes and all that. Um, so I'm going to strike while the iron's hot and I'm going to be coming out with more videos lately. Um, so you can expect a lot more from me. Um, I'm going to start things off with this video here. Got a couple quick orders of business. Um, I'm gonna stop doing Twitch. I'm gonna focus solely on just YouTube and YouTube Live. It's my main emphasis here on this channel. Um, I'm not gonna try to stretch myself too thin, you know, because I've got a full-time job, of course, in IT. So I'm gonna kind of put things out, you know, as as I get time and as I feel like it. Um, but I'm gonna try to definitely get more content out for you guys. Um, yeah, again, thanks for all the support I've been getting on this channel. It's awesome. You guys are the best, seriously. I appreciate that. Thanks to all the new subs. Um, I appreciate you. So we're gonna go ahead and kick things off here. In this video, we're doing the the top video game mascots of all time, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get into things here. Uh, as you can see, it starts with Pikachu and ends with uh, Pip Boy from Fallout. It looks like so, and there's a lot in between, uh, covering all uh, you know generations of gaming here. So we're gonna get into it, um, and we're gonna kick it off with, uh, of course, Pikachu. Pikachu is far from my favorite Pokemon. I don't hate it, okay, but uh, Pikachu is just so iconic. I'm gonna have to give Pikachu the S tier on this list, man. Pikachu is just so, I mean, I'm gonna grade this mostly off how iconic these mascots are, and I'm gonna try to be kind of impartial. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it objective and away from my own feelings. But yeah, Pikachu definitely deserves an S spot on this list. Pikachu is just so iconic, and there's no denying that. Um, Pokemon, I think it's the world's largest media franchise. So with that, Pikachu definitely deserves the um, S, the top tier. Pikachu is the top tier mascot. Okay, after that we have uh, Master Chief from Halo. Master Chief from Halo is cool, man. I like Master Chief. Um, I do like the Halo games. Um, I even liked Halo 5. A lot of people didn't like Halo 5, but you know what? I liked it quite a bit. Um, I think my first Halo game, I never played the original, but I played Halo 2, and I think that was my first one I ever played. Um, I played most of them up, you know, since then. But uh, yeah, for me, Master Chief gets the A. Donkey Kong, man, Donkey Kong is very, very iconic. But in recent decades, he's kind of fallen by the wayside. The last good Donkey Kong game that uh, ever came out, I think, was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, back in what 2013. And there really hasn't been too much Donkey Kong since then. I mean, there might be another game coming out soon. Let's hope. But. Uh, yeah, all in all, I think Donkey Kong is going to get a B tier for me. And don't get me wrong, the Donkey Kong Country games on the Super Nintendo were are, are three of my favorite games of all time, for sure. And uh, especially number two. Number two is just fire. If you haven't played number two, play it on the Switch. I've got a Let's Play on my channel. Go watch it. Yeah, Donkey Kong gets the B tier. Uh, I think we have next up we have Jack from Jack and Daxter. Um, you know what? I don't... I've never played any of the Jack and Daxter games, so I can't really speak on this one too much. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B tier. I think he's a solid dude. <laughs> man. I don't know who's cool. I like his design, and like I heard the games were good. I don't know. I've never played him. Uh, man, the rabbits. I just I'm not feeling them, man. I gotta say they're just they're just too over the top for me, and I think they're I find them kind of annoying. The, the Mario Cross Rabbits game on the Switch was pretty good, actually. I did enjoy that quite a bit. Um, but I don't know, man. They're just not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're that cool either. They're not really that that iconic. I think yeah, the rabbits are getting the D tier for me. Crash Bandicoot, man. Crash Bandicoot is an S tier. He's got to be. Crash Bandicoot was like the PlayStation mascot back in the day. I remember how cool he was. Like, growing up, I had an N64 and I had a PS1, and uh, you know Mario was great and all, but the Crash Bandicoot just seemed a little more, a little more edgy. His games were a little, I don't know, his games were different, uh, but they were definitely a lot of fun. Um, Crash 4, I haven't actually played Crash 4 yet, um, but I do like the original Crash games on the PS1. So yeah, I'm giving Crash Bandicoot an S tier on this list, top tier. Mega Man, Mega Man's cool. Uh, I like Mega Man, but most, more specifically, I like the um, the Mega Man X games on the Super Nintendo. I thought those were all great. Mega Man X one through three, those were awesome. Uh, like, yeah, dude, back in the day, Mega Man was cool. I remember. Um, I don't know. Mega Man's another one of those mascots that's just kind of fallen off. I gotta say, 
Uh, there's no real like Fire or Mega Man games, you know, in the last decade. I mean, for, for me, anyways. So, yeah, Mega Man's good. Not quite an S tier, but definitely getting an A tier from me. All right, next up we have uh, Bubsy. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Bubsy, man, Bubsy is a trash tier for me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to say that's the first trash tier on this list. I don't. I don't know Bubsy. I don't care to know Bubsy or whatever. Whoever the hell he is, like, uh, this might. This might piss some people off, but whatever. I'm giving him the trash tier rating. Moving on. We got uh, Mario, and you know Mario's getting the S tier. Mario is the most iconic gaming character of all time, most likely. I think, yeah, he is. I think he's more known than Mickey Mouse, is what a lot of people say, right? And maybe that's true, you know? That's pretty crazy to think about. Uh, Mario has countless great games, but he's also got some games that aren't so great, and he's also got some bad games, so... But uh, nonetheless, he's still an S tier. He's got it. He's, yeah, on this list, Mario's definitely S tier. He's the ultimate gaming icon. He's just the most iconic. S tier for sure. The slime from Dragon Quest. Now I love the Dragon Quest games, I do. But they're more so popular in Japan, as great as they are. They didn't really catch on globally as much. Um, but I think that's kind of changing with the new Dragon Quest game. Um, Dragon Quest uh, 11, I think it was. Yeah, uh, that game was amazing. Uh, really good game. I I had the Switch port for it, I think, and I really loved it. Um, but yeah, the slime, uh, you know, pretty iconic, but not, not it doesn't quite reach the heights, uh, the same heights as like Mario and Pikachu and Mega Man and all those guys, so. Yeah, he's getting a C tier from me. Uh, Ratchet, or no, yeah, Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Uh, he's an alright dude, man. He's gonna get a C tier from me. Uh, doesn't do much for me, but I know a lot of people love the Ratchet and Clank games, so. Yeah, Ratchet uh, from Ratchet and Clank is getting the C tier. I don't really have a whole lot to say about him because I've only kind of briefly dabbled in the games, but yeah, C tier for me. Gex from uh, back in the day, man. I remember I had this shit on uh, PS. No, I had it on yeah, PS One and N sixty four, and uh, you know I loved it when I was a kid, but I don't know how how well those games hold up nowadays. So I don't know. He he's one that's fallen off a cliff entirely. Um, I haven't, you know, we don't. Has there been a new Gex game anytime recently? I don't think so. And for that, I'm gonna give him a D tier because he just there's nothing like all that special about him, man. I have a lot of good memories of playing the game back in the day, but I don't know. He just he just doesn't do it. Uh, Banjo Banjo Kazooie, that's an A tier for me. Um, definitely, definitely love the games back in the day. Again, another character that's iconic, but it's also fallen off a cliff, and just you, we haven't heard from him in so long, you know. So he's getting an A tier. Um, I think that's pretty appropriate. He doesn't quite reach the heights as these other guys. He's not in S tier. He's not in top tier. Um, but I think he is right along the lines of, uh, you know, Master Chief and maybe uh, Mega Man. Yeah, I think I think A is a pretty good spot for him. I might change this as it goes along, but I think I feel pretty good with that. So I'm going to give Banjo and Kazooie an A tier. This dude, man, I don't know who this is. Uh, maybe you can tell me in the comment section. Um, I've never played any of his games, I don't think. Played a lot of games, but I've never played any of his, so... Uh, it might be something that's popular in, in, in Japan only. I don't really know. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a, a don't know. Uh, man, Ryu from uh, Street Fighter is going to get an A tier. Like, Ryu and the Hadouken, man, are just so damn iconic. You can't deny it, for sure. So uh, with that, Ryu is going to get the A tier on this. And Street Fighter is just huge in general. So yeah, he's get, that definitely got to get an A tier for, for me. Uh, and, and Cloud from Final Fantasy 7, man, he's definitely getting a uh, A tier as well. I don't think he's like Mario or Pikachu level, but he's he's iconic for sure. You can't doubt that. I mean, a lot of people love Final Fantasy 7. Um, the new remake is pretty good, so yeah. Cloud from Final Fantasy 7. I mean, he's in Smash Brothers. You gotta love that. So he's uh, yeah. Cloud's getting a A tier from me. Conquer from uh, the Conquer games, B tier. Uh, a lot of people love the Conquer games. They're all right, man. I mean, they they, <laughs> they are what they are. I mean, they're, they're cool. I, I'm going to give Conquer a B tier. Another character that's fallen off the edge of the earth. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to be wrong about that. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give Conquer a B tier. I don't know, Croc, man. Croc's getting a trash tier from me. <laughs> no, I can't get... I know who Croc is. I played. I think I played his games on, like, the PS1 or whatever. It was. I don't even know, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound completely ignorant for this. Uh, but but Croc wasn't one of my favorites. I'm gonna I don't know. I'm gonna give him a D tier. He's not quite trash tier, um, but uh, yeah, he's getting a he's getting a D tier for me. I don't really have much to say about Croc, so I'm gonna leave that there. Cuphead, 
Cuphead's tight, man, but he's he's only had one game so far. You know, I can't give him anything higher than a B for that reason. Um, the game that he did have was outstanding, dude. I loved Cuphead. I loved the old style, like the hand-drawn style, man. That just blew my mind when I played that. Like, that game is the shit. Like, if you haven't played Cuphead, go go ahead and, and uh, do yourself a favor and get that game right now. Um, it is hard, kind of. Yeah, it's like, it's like the Dark Souls of uh, 2D platformers, but... Yeah, definitely get Cuphead, man. If you haven't played it, it's it's cool. Cuphead's getting a B. Simon Belmont from Castlevania. I'm gonna also have to throw him in the B tier. And the reason for this is that Castlevania has completely fallen off a cliff, dude. But uh, my favorite Castlevania, or it's either gotta be Super Castlevania 4 or Symphony of the Night. Those are both amazing games. No doubt about it. Um, it might, yeah, I think my favorite Castlevania game is Super Castlevania 4 with him in it. Dude, I love that game so much. All the levels and music in that game were outstanding. It's got the jazz level, the underwater one. That was great. Um, yeah, Simon Belmont, cool character. He's in Smash Brothers now, which is tight. Like, I always wanted him in there, and he, and he, and he got in there. So, um, yeah, Simon Belmont gets a B tier for me. Uh, Earthworm Jim, yeah, I used to love these games on the Super Nintendo back when I was a kid, but uh, I haven't really thought about Earthworm Jim much since then. Um, he's... Yeah, as far as I... He's, he's fairly iconic. I mean, he was big in the 90s, that's for sure. Um, but he doesn't really reach these great heights. He, he's definitely not a B, A, or even S tier, so... Yeah, Earthworm Jim, for me, I think, is getting a C. It'd be cool to see him kind of make a return, but... Yeah, I don't know. He's just a C tier kind of dude. Uh, next up, we have Link from the Legend of Zelda series. And you know I'm going to give my boy Link the uh, S tier. Aside from maybe, like, Resident Evil, I think, yeah, like, uh, Zelda... Is probably my favorite game series. Oh yeah, Metroid 2. Metroid 2. I don't know why Samus isn't on this list. I'm gonna throw Samus on here. But uh, yeah, Link is definitely getting an S tier, man. I'm so excited for Breath of the Wild 2. Um, that's gonna be fire. I'm not really looking forward to Skyward Sword on the Switch because, like, I'm gonna be honest, I hated Skyward Sword. I thought it sucked. Um, I'm not really gonna go into it. I mean, there's plenty of rant videos on the internet um, about Skyward Sword, but uh, it. I don't know. It's just a clunky game. I didn't. I didn't think it was fun. But other than that, man, I love Zelda. I love all the Zelda games. So yeah, Link is definitely getting an S tier for me. Shantae uh, is definitely. I think I'm gonna give her a C tier. Um, not too much to say about her. C tier, I think, feels appropriate. This dude. I don't know who this dude is, man. Maybe you guys can tell me. Like this dude and the cat dude. I don't know who they are. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. Um, you know, I feel ignorant for not knowing who they are, but whatever. Yeah, if you guys could please let me know, that'd be cool. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna have to put them in the don't know tier, of course. Kratos from God of War, uh, I think he might be an A tier. Yeah, I think Kratos from God of War is an A tier. I think, he, I think he's right along. I think he's in co good company with uh, Cloud, Ryu, Banjo, Mega Man, and uh, Master Chief up here for sure. Master Chief could almost be an S tier, actually. Man, I don't know. I might have to bump him up to S. Man, I don't know. Halo's kind of fallen by the wayside, you know, it's not as popular as it once was, but, uh... Like, Master Chief is the Xbox dude, man. I'm, I might even have to give Ma- Alright, I'm giving Master Chief an, uh, an S. I'm gonna have to bump him up one. I think it's, I think it's only fair, you know? So. But yeah, Kratos is definitely an A-tier guy. He's, he's up there. Uh, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Uh, boy, the recent Tomb Raider games are actually pretty damn good. I did enjoy them, but uh, then again, she's kind of she has so many different personalities. I don't. Know. Lara Croft is okay. Um, I'm gonna give her a B tier. She, like, she's attractive, yeah, but she doesn't really do anything for me besides that. I mean, she is a badass character, but like, I don't know. I just, I just can't relate to her as much. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a, a, a B tier. But yeah, her games are good. The Tomb Raider games are good, don't get me wrong. Um, I have them, I like them. Yeah. This thing, I don't know what this is. It's supposed to be... So, I'm gonna... This bird guy, I'm gonna... I don't, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below, please. Um, yeah. And next up, we have Kirby. Kirby is... Uh, Kirby's cool. I like the Kirby games, but... Hmm, should I give... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw Kirby in the B tier. Um... The Kirby game on the Switch was alright, but it was too easy for me. But I know back when I was a kid, I did enjoy them on the ones on the N64 and the Super Nintendo one. So with that, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna go ahead and give Kirby a B on this list. 
Uh, Snake, you know Snake is getting the A tier, man. I don't think he's quite S, but man, dude, I love I loved uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. That was a dope ass game. Uh, so yeah, with that, I want to give Snake a A, A tier. Pac Man, very very iconic. The I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Pac Man. A, you know, people might might get pissed off at me, but I'm gonna throw Pac Man in uh, B tier. Um, He's very iconic, but hasn't really done much recently. I mean, I did like the games on the PS1 and the GameCube, I think. Those were fun. Um, and, of course, the original OG Pac-Man and all the variations of it. But, yeah. Pac-Man's kind of fallen off in recent years. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a B. Parappa the Rapper? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I played it back way back. My memory's so foggy on his games, man. I played the the one on PS1 a long time ago, but I don't really remember much about it. it didn't really stick with me. So I'm going to go ahead and give... Uh, I can't be that harsh. I don't want to give him a C tier. Um, I think that sounds about right. Yeah, we'll give him a C tier. Uh, Raymond, another cool mascot. I think falls right along line with all these other ones up here in B tier. Um, yeah, I think he's definitely a B tier kind of guy. So Raymond gets a B tier for me. Angry Birds, uh, dude, I don't like Angry Birds. A lot of people, I mean, I, I, I did back in the day when it first came out. You know, I had it on my phone. We used to sit in our car. I was in the, you know, we used to sit in our car and play it in pastime. But I don't know, man. I, it's just a bird, like, that's also a ball. Like, it doesn't really do much for me as far as design. I mean, it's fairly iconic, you know, like, very popular in the early 2010s. But, yeah, not really the biggest um, Angry Birds fan. I know I might get some hate for that, but oh well. A uh, little big world guy uh, gets a C tier, I think. Yeah, I think he probably fall. Yeah, I think he's in good company up there in C. Um, and I feel pretty pretty good with that um, reading. Shovel Knight, I think, is another C tier character. He's not quite as iconic as any of these guys, as you can see. I'm really actually liking how this list is coming out, uh, to be honest. But yeah, Shovel Knight is gonna get a, a C tier for me. I think that's I think that's fairly accurate. I love Shovel Knight. The game was was pretty badass. I played one of the DLCs, but the other one I didn't really get too into. And kind of lost steam for me. So, but yeah, Shovel Knight gets a C. Um, and I'm also gonna put Sly Cooper up there in C as well. I think that's pretty fair for him. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Spyro. Spyro, I love the Spyro games back in the day. Um, I played a lot of PS1. I remember, um, and Spyro was one of the games that I played a lot and I rented a lot back in the day. Fun games, man. Uh, the Reignited trilogy, of course, is was awesome. So. Yeah, Spyro gets a B tier from me, and I think that's pretty appropriate. He's definitely a B tier character. Uh, Minecraft Steve is very, very, very iconic. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't know should I give him an S or an A. He's kind of right on the edge for me. I'm gonna give him a high A tier. Yeah, I'm gonna rank these in order here. I'm gonna give him a. Uh, if I were to do that, then I would have to move some of these guys around. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Minecraft Steve a high A tier, borderline S. I don't really do ones that are on the border, but I'm gonna give him a high A tier. Um, and the fact that he's in Smash Brothers now is just absolutely crazy. That, that's mind blowing. So Minecraft Steve gets an A, almost S. I have to say. Uh, let me actually rank these in order of their prominence. I think that. Sounds about right. Okay, perfect. We are looking good. Let's move on here. Let's go on to Sonic. Sonic is... I'm about to say Sonic's an S for me. Uh, he's slightly above Crash Bandicoot, below Master Chief. I think that's probably where he lies. I love the Sonic games. My favorite Sonic game of all time has got to be Sonic Mania, followed closely by Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I played the hell out of that game, <laughs> you know, back in the GameCube days. Yeah, that was my shit. So, yeah, so I love Sonic, dude. Don't get me wrong. He's tight. He's getting the... He's getting the, He's a top-tier guy, so I'm putting him in the top tier. Um, Undertale, uh, dude, yeah. A-tier for sure. Uh, but where does he lie, though? Um, probably... Definitely, yeah, I would say slightly above Mega Man. Maybe below Kratos, yeah. I would say that's pretty accurate. Bomberman. Um, oh, this is a tough one. Bomberman's completely fallen off. I think he's just a C-tier kind of average mascot. Uh, Bomberman used to be big back when I was a kid. I remember, like, on Super Nintendo and N64. And even GameCube, I think he had a pretty decent game. I don't remember. Yeah. 
But yeah, back in the day, Bomberman was cool, but he's just a character that's completely I've lost interest in it. I think there was a game on the Switch when it first came out. I never, I played a little bit of it, but it didn't do anything for me really, so. Yeah, he's getting a C tier along with uh, maybe B tier. Hmm. Pip Boy from Fallout is very, very iconic. Um, he might even be an A tier guy, but I would say, I would say he's probably a low A tier. Um, I don't think he passes any of these guys, but yeah, Pip Boy from Fallout is going to be a A tier mascot for me, definitely. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. Let me know what you think of my tier list here, and this is also going in order. Um, and let me know uh, what you agree with and what you don't agree with. I know, you know, this might get a lot of hate. Um, if your favorite mascot, you know, is in a spot you feel they don't deserve, please let me know and um, make a case as to why that is. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to hopefully start cranking out more videos here soon. And uh, thank you again so much for the support. I appreciate it. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, until the next video, guys. Peace out.